Hello everyone, this is Mike and in this SDR Uno video we're going to go over the brand new release of SDR Uno which is now version 1.22. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is reset SDR Uno and I'm going to launch it and I'm going to go over all the new added features. Let's wait for this to load. Uh, the first added feature is support for a monitor resolution of 1366 times 768. Now what does that mean? Based on your monitor resolution uh, plus or minus whatever the defaults are, SDR Uno is going to auto populate the screen with specific modules based on your monitor resolution. Now you can go into options and user manual and we'll pull that up and scroll down a little bit and I'll let you know what page it's going to be on. It is on page 12. Based on different resolutions of the screen, SDR Uno will auto-populate these panels. So 1024 by 768 will give you the main, the RX control, and the SP1. You can freely add and remove these and, and rearrange your workspace. These are just uh, getting started uh, workspaces just to get you up and running. Uh, the default workspace of 1280 by 1024, the newly added workspace of 1366 by 768, and 19, uh, 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, I'll zoom in a bit, each one of these will auto-populate panels based on your system resolution. So the 1366 by 768 has been added. Another option, uh, the step size per mode issue has been fixed. It is now user definable per mode. So if you would like to change the step size for AM, FM, uh, CW, lower sideband, upper sideband, those are all uh, independent now. They're not hard coded. The version prior to previous release, it was a single step size per, for all the modes. And then the step size was changed to a hard coded step size per mode. Uh, 250 hertz I think for lower sideband upper sideband it might have been 500 hertz now you can change it to whatever you like so if upper sideband you would like 500 hertz and lower sideband you would like 250 that's going to be remembered uh, another option that's been added is in the main panel it is now color coded to make it stand out it's a little bit more inviting now what to do when you launch STR Uno you want to click play and start the stream it turns, let's look at this, the button will change from green to red, letting you know to stop the stream, and that will stop it. This doesn't close or start SDR Uno. When, when you launch SDR Uno, it's launched, and you want to click on play to, to start that stream. Get the information into Uno and displayed on the spectrum. Okay, let's see what other changes we have. Uh, we have the schedule uh configuration here the schedule the automatic recording what this is going to do is allow you to set a start and stop time uh, telling SDR Uno that you want to make an IQ recording and record the whole entire uh, IF bandwidth that's selected so if you're at a sample rate of 2 uh, decimation of 1 final sample rate of 2 megahertz you're going to record 2 megahertz of spectrum and you just tell it the start time and the end time uh, SDR Uno, the stream doesn't have to be started. It, it's going to automatically uh, enable that option. So if you're a medium wave DXer, FM DXer, if you want to catch whisper signals going on at night, if you want to record a satellite pass, I'm probably missing a bunch of things, but I hope we're uh, explaining it properly to you. Wherever you want SDR Uno, not wherever you want, however you want SDR Uno to record at a given date and time, it will now do it. Now also in the recorder, do not forget to set your uh, recording folder. So you would right click on the recorder, tell it where you want the recording to go. When you want to play back that recording, do not launch the stream. You want to go to options, select input, wave file, and tell it where that recording is and it's going to play it. And then you'll have the option to loop it. So if you do a, let's say a five second recording, and you want to keep listening instead of it just playing from start to finish you can loop it uh, this is also documented in the manual uh, any questions just leave them in the comments you guys know I, I try my best to answer all the comments the mute button has been moved 
uh, a couple changes here in the RX control. Another big change is the band buttons. Uh, previous to the previous release, uh, the band button was hard coded. They're still hard coded, but I'm going to explain where I'm getting at with this. It wouldn't decimate or change the sample rate. It wouldn't frame the band. It would just pretty much plop you right in the band and you it, it, it didn't frame it properly. So now you have the option for ham upper, lower and broadcast. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. So I'll, I'll start SCR Uno. Sample rate of two, decimation of one. This doesn't matter. I'm going to go to the broadcast band and I'm going to select 31 meters. So SDR Uno selected a sample rate of 2.2, decimation of 4, and the final sample rate here. And it puts me direct into the 31 meter band. If I want to go to 60 meters, it changes the sample rate and the decimation. It's going to frame the band. It also locks the LO, so that's why I'm only tuning uh, within that band. If I want to disengage it, I believe I'm at 60. Just click it again. It will unlock the LO and you're free to put the sample rate and the decimation back to default. Uh, again, just clicking on the band, right click or left click. Uh, I'm sorry, just left clicking and that will bring you right there. Another option, let's stop this, is the auto update feature. SDR Uno will now uh, reach out to sdrplay.com automatically and find out if there's an update available. If there, are, if there is an update available, when you launch SDR Uno, it's going to tell you. You have the option to download it and install it. Uh, if you don't want that feature enabled, just option. Go into options and uncheck auto update. Let's see if there's anything else. I think that basically covers it. Uh, one other quick plug. I did update the manual. Uh, if you go into options, user manual, you'll see that this is now for version 1.22. Uh, the manual was lacking a lot of information and uh, my where I'm going with this is that I'm going to dedicate a lot of my time uh, and as much effort as I can into bringing this manual up to a very high standard. I want to really document all the different buttons and w what those buttons do. The cookbook and if you don't know about the SDR Uno cookbook just Google SDR Uno cookbook is more of a how-to guide. The manual is a reference, and there was a few things that were missing. And uh, as I said, I'm going to do the best that I can to bring this manual up to a, a, a very high standard. So every release, if you can, always take a look at that manual option and user manual. And you'll see that it's a lot better than what it was before. And if anybody has any questions, please leave them in the comments if you have a support-related issue sdrplay.com slash support create a ticket i'll be more than happy to help you in the ticket system uh, as i said you have the official forum sdrplay.com and go into the user community forum you have the sdr play facebook groups that are uh, you have two of them sdr uno facebook group and sdr play facebook group they're independently run from the company a lot of users in there a great collective of people that are helping one another and that's basically it that's the uh the latest video I have right now discussing the latest release of SDR Uno version 1.22. All right, guys, warmest of 73. Thank you so much for watching. And as I said, any questions, just leave them in the comments. I try my best to answer them all. See you guys on the next video.